A Rito Rust injection system consists of a metering pump and a feeder tank. There are two basic types of metering pumps, a diaphragm type and a peristaltic type, and there are four feed tank sizes that are available. Installing the peristaltic pump injection system. This is a peristaltic pump. It moves water with rollers that compress the water along a tube in the pump head. The water is squeezed out of the discharge side of the pump head like toothpaste from a toothpaste tube. The pump has an on-off toggle switch on the back. It is not weatherproof because it has an air-cooled electric motor. It should be protected from the elements, and we recommend that it is not to be installed outside. Getting chemical in the motor will also damage it. For that reason, the pump should never be positioned so that the motor is below the pump head. A leak in the pump tube could damage the motor. To install an injection system, you start by drilling a hole in the tank lid for the suction line. There is a preset mark for this on the lid. To locate the mark, refer to the diagram that comes with a pump. Now mount the pump following the instructions provided with the kit. Position the pump on the lid and cut the tubing to the length necessary to secure it to the suction side of the pump head and reach within about one inch of the bottom of the feed tank with a ceramic weight attached. Next, run the black poly tubing that comes with the pump kit through the hole and then attach it to the pump. The tube is secured to the nipple on the suction valve with a plastic ferrule and a compression nut. This becomes the suction line. The remaining black tubing becomes the discharge line. You can run as much as 75 feet from the discharge side of the pump to the injection point in the irrigation line. However, only 20 feet is provided with the pump kit, so if you need more, you will have to order it. The discharge line is attached to the discharge valve nipple with a ferrule and compression nut, as with the suction line. At the other end of the discharge line is the injection check valve. It is teed into the irrigation line between the backflow preventer in the irrigation line and the first solenoid valve. The injection check valve should be installed so that it is on the underside of the irrigation pipe. This is so that gravity works to assist the valve's one-way flow function. The valve should be positioned so that the injection point is in the middle of the pipe. The valve has both half-inch and quarter-inch threads to help accomplish this positioning with reducing bushings. Use Teflon tape to seal pipe threads. Hand tighten only. Powering up the metering pump can be accomplished in two ways. In both cases, a relay is used. The first way to power up the metering pump is through the timer. Definitely use this method if the well is used for drinking water as well as for irrigation. We also recommend that it be used if there is a pressure tank involved. You must match the metering pump voltage to the power source voltage. Failure to do this can result in a power surge that blows the pump. The warranty does not cover a blown pump. Remember to turn off the power when doing your wiring. With this first method, you will need to install a new relay in addition to the existing relay for the well pump. First, locate the pump start circuit and the common on the timer, referring to the timer manual. Hook up the relay to the circuit. Wire the metering pump to the relay and then connect the relay hot wire to the power source. The first method of connecting up the metering pump can, of course, be done with a diaphragm pump also. The second method of connecting up the metering pump is employed where the well pump is used for irrigation only. This method will be illustrated using the diaphragm pump in the next section of our instructions. The identification plate on the peristaltic metering pump indicates the amperage, voltage, and maximum feed rate. The adjustable pump has a large dial with settings from 0 to 10. By setting the stroke at 0, you can stop the pump. At 10 or 100 percent, the pump is pumping at its maximum rate. Once a year or more, depending on usage, the tube in the face of the pump head should be replaced due to wear. To do this, First, remove the faceplate by removing the two machine screws on either side. Then set the pump at a low stroke rate if it is adjustable. Using the on-off switch, position one of the slots in the plastic retainer plate 
where you can pull the suction end of the tube free of its fitting. Now, alternately flipping the power off and on, rotate the retainer plate, pulling the tube out until it is finally free. Reverse the process to install a new tube. Rito Rust systems have four requirements in order to achieve satisfactory results. The right feeder system for the application, proper installation of the feeder system, choice of the proper chemical, proper dosage of the chemical. We are ready to help you get the job done right. If you have questions, please call or email us.